Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to another exciting Blender tutorial and today we're going to be doing uh, this scene here step by step and uh, yeah, looking at how we, how we can make highway traffic uh, like this and uh, if you don't want other cars to disappear uh, in your scene, you might skip uh, this part where we have uh, this boolean object and uh, if I scale it out you can see that uh, it's simply set to cut off any car that uh, is a uh, not within that bo the boundaries of this object uh, but uh, if we don't have it in uh, the cars are just rotating around uh, this loop uh, so that we don't have to create uh, different cars uh, that are going this side and then different cars that are going this side so it's it makes our work uh, simpler and uh, yeah let's see how to set that up so the first thing we want to do again is to create uh, the path uh, so the you can use a curve object like this and then extrude uh, the shape, uh, rotate the, these uh, points, control points around until you get uh, that loop. But uh, I found it might be a bit harder to uh, to get uh, the loop uh, looking like this. Uh, so an easier way to, to get it look like that is uh, to just have a mesh, uh, scale it in the x-axis, apply the scale, and then go to edit mode, use control shift B at bevel the edges. You can use the middle mouse wheel to increase the resolution of your uh, bevel or something like that and uh, we have our loop now what we left with is that to select the go to edit mode select the face or end gun and let only face uh, so that we remain with only the edges and uh, now we can go to uh, the object menu uh, make sure you are in object mode object menu and then convert convert this mesh uh, to a curve object uh, that way we can use that as uh, we can use that as a constraint target for the follow path constraint. So if we select this uh, this uh, mesh or car, we can give it a constraint uh, under the constraint menu, uh, give it a follow path constraint and uh, select this as our target. And uh, if we play back now, nothing happens uh, because we need to hit this animate button uh, to animate uh, the path. Now the car follows this uh, curve but uh, because it's far from the path, uh, that's why you see it's going this far. So you want, we, we want it to be closer to the path and uh, you, you, you actually don't want to see this line here. So you want it to be over uh, the path uh, so that it follows the path correctly. But uh, you see it's not rotating at follow the curve itself. So what we can do is uh, use this follow curve uh, option to have the, the, the curve follow the, car, the, the curve in that form so it rotates at uh, the at these angles here so and uh, but uh, the problem is it's uh, facing the wrong direction so i'll rotate it at face the right direction so that you can see we get something like that yeah now now you can increase uh, if you want to slow this down you would have to select the curve and go under the curve settings and uh, under the, the curve settings, you'll see the path animation and increase the number of frames here. So if I change this to about 10, 50, you can see the speed increases. One, uh, five, it's really fast here. Uh, but uh, if I double this, you can see now it's really slow. So let's keep it at around 150 so that it's fast enough. And I uh, can see what we have. So if I duplicate this, this car, shift D, now we have two cars, but uh, they're all sharing the same position. So if I want this to be in front of this other car, I can just go to the constraint and uh, increase the offset uh, so that this is uh, in front of this other car. Then I can duplicate this shift D again to have a second car, change the offset, maybe have it there. Duplicate this, change the offset of the constraint. And you can see now that's what we have but uh they're all the same cars so to make them different you would have to model different cars but uh, since i already have uh, other cars i can just go in and uh, find a different car here okay. so let me find i made a few variations of different cars here as you can see so i can copy uh, a bunch of them here so i have this 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 is here. I'll just copy them and then paste them in my project. So now what I can do, I can select this here. If I want this to be a different car, I can select this and then this. Then use the shortcut Ctrl L uh, to link this object data uh, so that it 
is a different car from this and maybe this to this and I can see the color is also changing because of the way I set up the materials I have to use random colors I already have tutorials on that if you want to check that out so now you can see actually we don't have the police car anymore so let me just have that there so I can duplicate this again and offset its position and uh, every time I duplicate a different car I get a different yeah and now if I w if you want to cut this off uh, so that you only see so that you don't see them making the u-turn you just add a cube uh, like this uh, somewhere like there uh, also let me just so that it's not rendered you can switch it off from visibility here so that it's not rendered in uh, one rendering or in the viewport but uh, I still want it to be to show because I, I want to use it here so I'll just turn it into display wire and then give each of these objects a boolean modifier and uh, make sure that uh, use this as a target and uh, change the operation from difference uh, to intersect now you won't see the cars are uh, the car making a u-turn I can scale this in even further you can see now so now what I can do I is select all the other cars select the last car with uh, the boolean modifier then ctrl L uh, to copy all the modifiers out of the rest of the cars and now you can see we get that so if I had I hide uh, this you get exactly that and then you can add your road and uh, you'll be set to go so that's how I did uh, this scene here and, uh, yeah it's a bit slow when in the viewport because uh, we have a lot of cars using a boolean object so thank you for watching see you in the next